everyone i hope you all are safe and doing good so uh, till now we have seen few lead code questions let's see one more in this lecture this is lead code 27 and remove element we'll be uh, seeing the solution discussing the solution in java language right but before that i just want to tell you one thing if you are the one who uh, are interested in learning java or who want to master java then i have just started a new course java from scratch mastering java from scratch you can go there and check the link you will get in the description box of this video you can go there and check and uh, this is specially for beginner like if you don't know anything if you have no prior coding experience you can go for this course this course let me just uh, show you something about this so what i'm going to cover here is from beginning everything from scratch core concept of java multi threading oops concept and database connectivity then um, socket and uh, you can say uh, packages exception handling file handling new features added in java and many more things you will get from scratch the classes would be every friday saturday sunday you will get and weekly one live doubt resolution session for you if you stuck somewhere you can ask me the doubt at that time live weekly once in a week we will conduct that thing plus you will get access to a dedicated whatsapp group so after enrolling in the course you will get access to that whatsapp group there also you can ask a doubt and you can interact with your like or the more serious learners who are on the same way on the same path as you are so uh, it's like i'm just one message away from you you will uh, get a course completion certificate as well and plus one more good point is you will get my handwritten notes my you know the notes are very comprehensive i have written everything in detail so uh, you can download the note i'll upload the note notes and you can download those things ppts pdf of all the programs you get plus we'll be discussing placement questions lead code questions asked in top tech companies as well and i'll take you from the beginner to all the way to uh, solving lead code questions and building projects don't worry right but the thing is and one more thing with the special offer going on you can get the scores with just rupees 3599 i just slash the price right now completely 50% plus for first 100 students 100 students you will get extra 10% off by applying the coupon code java10 so the link and the detail you will get in the description box of this video you can go and check out now let's see what is this this question what is the problem statement so first thing is you have to understand first what is the problem statement you will be given you are given an array of nums integer array and a well integer well remove all the occurrence of well in nums in place in place this thing is important it's not like that so it's like i have an array like i have 1 3 2 2 5 something like this suppose this is my array and uh, well well given is 2 well given is 2 so you have to remove this 2 this 2 this 2 yes but in place maybe you will say that i'll take next array of same size that is an empty array and i'll just traverse this array from here to here whatever element which are not equal to this two i'll just take that and place here 1 3 5 that's it yeah, but here you are taking an extra array this is not allowed means you have to do it in place in place means within the same array you have to do you can't take extra array in place i hope the meaning is clear to you in place now the order the order of the elements may changed right then return the number of elements in the nums which are which are not equal to well at last you have to return how many here what you will return 1 2 3 3 elements are there which are not equal to well well here is 2 so at last you have to return that count like 3 right consider the number of elements in num num which are not equal to well be k let's suppose there are k elements which are not equal to this well so at last you have to return k so k here is 3 right you get accepted and you need to do the following things like change the array nums this is the array nums such that the first k elements first k elements of nums contains the elements which are not equal to well so first k elements obviously three elements so this array should be something like this 1 3 then we have 5 and after that so first k elements first k k is 3 should be the element which are not equal to well the remaining element are not important so remaining element in this array are not important Re remaining element can be like here we are having maybe it's like 2 uh, 5 2 something like this so these element are not important for us for us right 
and as well as the size is also not important and you have to return at last k so like this the order of the element may change so in place if you are doing something if you are removing this so it's not like that at last you have to do 1 3 5 this only array may be 1 5 3 and remaining can be anything maybe like 3 5 1 something like this so this order doesn't matter the thing which matters is first k element must be the elements which are not equal to this well that's it and you have to return now at last k right so uh, think about this it's not that much tough have you solved this if, if suppose this is my thing let's take the same example too so what i'll do is in place i have to change so it's like i can one three if i have two so whatever the first element after this you get which is not equal to well just i can just replace it with five right it's two five we have already replaced it it's two and then end of that and that's it so you have one three five you got the first three element which are not equal to well last three element doesn't matter the order doesn't matter something like this we can do suppose i have an array something like this three two two five six two like this and same here also value is two well is two so what would be the array like three if it's two then next is 2, next is 5. So, better I'll do is what? Visually, we'll do is what? We replace this with 5. Then next is 6. Here we have 2, so it's 6. Then next is like 2 and like it's nothing. So, 3, 5, 6, something like this. Right? After removing this 2, this would be the array. So, basically we need here two pointers, I guess. Because first you have to iterate the array from here to here. Because we are iterating from, first we'll check 3, then 2, then 2, then until here. Second, the position. So first, one pointer was here and one was here. Then only we are able to replace this with 5. And then we increment this pointer. So this pointer is here. As soon as, we will we'll move this pointer also forward. You get next non-value element. Now, put this element here. And again, replace this pointer. Suppose here we have 2. Suppose here we have 2, here we have 6. Is this, this is 2. So definitely we are not going to replace it. Plus plus this, but this will be as it is. So one pointer would be like slow pointer, which will not move uh, after every, uh, in every iteration. One is fast pointer. So you need here two pointer. Yes. If the element is not equal to well. So here it was 6 first the pointer was here so the element is not equal to well so we have replaced this 2 with 6 if this was 2 then if the element is equal to well skip it don't do anything you have to find out the element which are not equal to well not equal to well so simply it's like something like this we will be having two pointer so for first, for first, we are having, suppose int i is equal to 0 and i would be till less than whatever the length of the array, length of the array, n. Suppose n and i plus plus. Right? n. It's n. One pointer we can take. Before this, we can take one pointer. Suppose int k itself we can take. k is equal to 0. One pointer or you can say count or k. Here we are taking k. So, I am just assuming k itself. You can take any variable name. Right? K is 0 at first. Now, we check. We check. If now nums of i not equal to well. If it's not equal to well, then we change that. We replace that thing. So, where we, what we do is, we can just do this thing. If this is not equal to well, then nums of k is equal to nums of i and k plus plus. That's it, I guess. That's it. Right? That's exactly what we want. See, at first i is 0. So, we are here. This condition true? Yes, enter here. Nums of i is not equal to well. Nums of i is 1. It's 1. 
वैल्यू इज टू इट्स नॉट इक्वल टू वेल राइट सो रिप्लेस और दिस विद इट सेल्फ सो वी से नम्स ऑफ के के इज राइट नाउ जीरो के इज जीरो सो नम्स ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू नम्स ऑफ आई इज ऑल्सो जीरो सो वन वुड बी हियर इट सेल्फ एंड के प्लस प्लस दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड के प्लस प्लस नाउ के बिकम्स वन नाउ के इज हियर राइट बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली इफ दिस इज नॉन वेल सो दिस वुड बी हियर एज इट इज सो इफ यू गेट एनी एलिमेंट विच इज लाइक आई एम हैविंग हेयर टू सो आई एम हैविंग हेयर सपोज आई एम हैविंग टू टू एंड हेयर आई एम हैविंग थ्री सो एज सुन एज यू गेट वन मोर एलिमेंट नेक्स्ट नॉन वेल एलिमेंट ऑब्वियसली वी वॉन्ट टू स्विच दिस विथ थ्री रिप्लेस दिस विथ थ्री येस सो एज सुन एज यू फाउंड एज सुन एज यू फाइंड अ एलिमेंट विच इज नॉट इक्वल टू वेल इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू इंक्रीज के के प्लस प्लस because at next position only we can just put the next non well element right so let's just do it as it is it's 2 and it was 3 right now my k is here k plus plus i plus plus i is also here right nums of i is equal to, uh, not equal to well nums of i is 3 not equal to well yes not equal to well again change so 2 would be here itself k is also 1 i is also one so this would be here now k plus plus now k is here and i plus plus i is also here both are moving now but now see the difference again condition 2 enter here now nums of i not equal to well nums of i is 2 it's equal to well so do you want to replace it with someone no just skip it because this condition not true so we will not enter here k plus plus is not there here only we are having our k but i plus plus would be there we'll check for the next element maybe next we are having a non well element so we'll replace it with this that's why we need two pointer now i plus plus now i is here k is still here i is here condition true yes enter here now so phi not equal to well it's 2 but it's equal to 2 skip it don't do anything just do i plus plus 5 condition true yes enter here now so phi that is 5 5 not equal to well yes Yes. Now condition true. So we got the first non-well element. Now I want this five to be here. Can I do? Yes. Yes. I still have my k here, so I can easily access this thing. If you don't have any pointer, how you will access? I still have k. My k is still sitting here, so I can access this. So nums of k, it's nums, nums, nums. Nums of k is equal to nums of i. I is right now this here two. So now here we will be having five and k plus plus. Now k is here and again i plus plus. So i is here. Condition true. Enter here. It is not equal to well. No, it's not true. It's equal to well. Don't do anything. Skip it. I plus plus. But now out of the range. Stop. So at last we are having one three five two five two. Remaining element doesn't matter. But one three five are the first k element which are here. So right now k is here here. So we are having here zero. One, two, three. So just return the k. K is three, and that's exactly the answer. There are only three elements here which are not equal to well. Yes, simply that you have to return k. So this is the simple logic. These like two three lines. That's it. If I ask you the time complexity, then it's not that much tough. We are having one loop, and this is running from zero to n, like. n number of times in worst case from this to this right obviously we'll check not worst case like obviously we'll check from here to here because at last we can have a well or then non well and something like this so at last the last will go from 0 to n so it's order of n that's it within this how many times the comparison would be done how many times the statement would be executed it's n times so by after ignoring the constant and all we know that when you write uh, time complexity in bigo notation we ignore the constant and less dominating term and there are three four type of rules so ultimately you will get after ignoring the constant order of n time complexity space complexity is order of 1 because we are not taking any extra array we are just taking uh, some simple variable like i we are having k we are having so these are having order of 1 itself we are in place Uh, you can say modifying the array. 
So this is how you can remove element. I guess not that much tough. Let's submit it. So let's name it remove element 27. It's lead code 27, that's why. And uh, let's take an array first. In this case, same as suppose well is equal to two. So uh, we can have, let's have a, let's have a method, name it remove element. We'll pass here the array. Let's de define it, this method first. And it will return key. So return type is int. Name is remove element. Let's take an array name nums. And yeah, obviously we will call we will pass num at well because what you need to remove that thing also we will pass. So uh, here we are having whatever the value you need to remove two things. Now let's let's define this. How to define this? We need two pointers. So let's take first k is equal to zero. And now one is pointer is to iterate the array from uh, zero till length of the array. And I plus plus. Simple. Simply we'll check. If if your nums of i, nums of i not equal to well, then only we do replace it. So nums of k is equal to whatever nums of i. Right now the element is there that's and k plus plus and at last simply return k so we return k and it is returning k so we'll just let's see uh, store that thing in a result result variable and at last we will simply print whatever the result is that's it let's try to run this and see so it's four uh one Two, three, four, four elements are there which are not equal to well. If if I change the value, if value is nine, nine only. So let's run this and see. Only one, two, three, four, five, six elements are there. So it will return six. And if you want to print, if value is two, and if you want to print the array again, you can check. If you print there, how to print the array? We know it's you have to call arrays dot to string method, and then here you call the array you want to. That's it. But to call this arrays or two string, this is in util package. So you have to include that package. Import Java dot util, either dot star or dot arrays, because I want only arrays from this package. So I'll I will separately include import only Java dot util dot arrays. That's it. So like this, we can print this nums. And if I run this, so you can see four elements are there which are not equal to well. Well is two, and all the four elements are three one five nine, which are at the which are at the starting of the array. 3, 1, 5, 9. Remaining element doesn't matter. It's 5, 2, 9 as it is. So it doesn't matter. Like this. So I hope you got this. You can try this out. Time complexity. We have discussed its order of n. So I hope you got it. Now, if you want me to upload some specific lead code question, that problem, so you can just tell me in comment section. I'll just try to upload on a video on that, a solution on that lead code question. So that's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.